Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to show you asset distribution percentage in current asset and non-current current asset using Python. So we are going to perform a financial analysis using Python and here I'm using MongoDB as my data source. So first of all, let me show you my requirements. So this will be my final output where I would will be breaking up the current asset and non current asset into percentage. So this chart clearly indicates me that the total asset is 100% and out of it 89.1 is covering by non current asset and 10.9% is for current asset. And my data source, as I mentioned that I, will, I am using MongoDB. So I can show you where I have my data set. So my data set stores into MongoDB. That's my MongoDB interface. And you can see there's a collection called balance sheets. So I call db dot balance sheet dot find and that's the data which captured into which is stored into mongodb so i will be going to pull the same data into python first of all and then we'll be going to visualize this so let's have a look how to connect python with mongodb for extracting the data into for accessing the data into python and then Let's and then we'll see how to visualize it. So let me close the existing interfaces we have and make sure that your MongoDB keeps running in back backend. Otherwise, you won't be able to extract the data into Python. And there are a couple of libraries which we need to get installed. So libraries like PyMongo. So that library I've already installed. And in order to know more about that, how to install libraries in Python, you can visit my previous vid videos where I have clearly explained how to add new libraries or new packages into Python. So let me launch the Python instance and I'm going to create a new file. Here, the first syntax will be import, import PyMongo. And then from Pi Mongo, import Mongo client. So I create a new client instance. Let me format it. So configure ideally. Let me increase the font size. So let's increase the font size configure ideally and this is from where we can increase the font size configure ideally and I've set the size of Mongo client. So I use client is equal to Mongo client and we are going to connect to our Mongo server. So for this local host because when we connect to our Mongo server it always connect to local host and the port number is 27017 so I use local host so either you can use IP address or you can use the local host as well db is equal to client dot and uh, I would be getting the uh, the data the collection gets is the collection is stored into BISP data set. So that's the database DB is equal to client.bisp. And I just wanted to show the data. So I write F data is equal to DB dot date. Uh, the collection name is balance sheet. Balance sheet dot find. And I just wanted to display the data. So for data one in f data and i just write 
print data one. Let's execute it. I'll just save this as Mongo two. And you can see the connection has been established successfully. The Python has been connected successfully to Mongo and the data has been extracted. So it is it is getting all the data and displaying the data in my result form. Now we are going to visualize it. So for this, I would be requiring one more library that is called matplotlib library. To install matplotlib package, you can go to CMD and you can we can use PIP command info PIP install matplotlib and you can use this package to install the matplotlib so I write import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt because we would be considering the current asset and non current asset so i create two variables current asset and i nice as zero and non current asset is equal to zero and i set two labels as current asset labels is equal to current assets and non current asset non and now we need to write uh, if condition we are we need to write a condition here that if data one data one because the data we have in level three so we'll be considering level three current asset and non current asset so I just write here if data one level three bracket close if level 3 bracket close equal equal and it is equivalent to current asset so I just copy this current asset then C underscore asset is equal to C underscore asset plus data 1 and I would be requiring the data only for quarter one right now. So we can do it the same uh, the same steps. We can cover it for quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four as well. So this is I'm I'm showing the record zone. I'm showing the data only for quarter one data. So I just write Q one quarter one. L if so I'll just copy the same syntax. Data one level three is equal to non current asset. So I say non current asset. Then NC underscore asset is equal to NC underscore EM data one quarter one. So I would be extracting data for quarter one only right now. So we have got the results. We have got the record, the, the calculations into current asset and non-current asset. Now, in order to visualize it, first of all, I capture them into sizes. Sizes is equal to, so we are creating an array here. So C current asset, comma, N underscore non-current asset. And I simple use a PLT command plt dot pi because we have linked plt with matplot matplotlib dot pi plot so plt dot pi and I just write sizes and plt dot show let's test this much first and you can see a pi has been created which would be showing maybe it's a current asset or non current asset so it's not completed right now we need to do a couple of more customizations into it so along with sizes, I want to show labels. So labels is equal to label. So this labels is equal to the labels, which would be showing current asset and non current asset. I said start angle is equal to 90. And PLT dot I set title as 
accept breakup into current asset and non current asset so this is showing the labels as well as the values uh, the labels are adding on the pi as well current asset and non current asset let's customize it more and here i write plt dot access equal so this will be showing the equal pi otherwise it was showing non equal pi now the thing we left is to show the percentage values and in order to do that we need to add one value one attribute called auto pct is equal to we need to define the format so the format is percent 1 dot 1 f it's in a float two times and also i said shadow is equal to true let's run it and we'll see the result so it is showing 10.9 percent and you can see a shadow is also appearing shadow is also coming with now i just wanted to explore this a little bit i just wanted to highlight this current asset and in order to do that i would be using one property called explode property and i'll define that property prior to that so i use a property called explode is equal to and i explode it as zero because i want to explode the first part of the uh, first part of the pi not the second part so i explode the first part 0 0.2 0 0.2 and the second part will remain at the same place and I just add the property as explode is equal to explode and this right so you can see the the first part has been exploded as 0.2 so like this we can show the current asset and non current asset within Python using the data set as a MongoDB so this case study will be very useful when you are using mongodb as a data set or any other data set and you need to display the current you need to display the financial reports using python so that's the final code final code for this particular report particular chart so that's all in this video from my side if you have any queries you can post your comments or queries in comment box you can connect with us on the mail id or you can call us on the phone number mentioned in the link keep watching have a nice day